Hello， 大家好，我系 Tiger。咁啊，今日要分享嘅就系阿洛舒华新力家嘅成功故事啊。咁啊，众所周知咧，佢就系呢个 Terminator 嘅男主角。咁但系好多人都唔知道咧，其实佢系奥地利出世嘅奥地利人嚟嘅。咁啊，透过唔同嘅健身啦，诶嘅选美嘅一个专业咧，就进入咗荷里活嘅电影世界。咁啊，比較出名嘅作品就有《Hercules》啦，同埋《Terminator》啦咁樣。咁喺電影圈裏面呢，一路打滾呢，佢呢就係不斷努力啦，無論喺健身方面啦、做戲方面啦，都係不斷學習㗎喎。咁啊，而最犀利呢，最後呢都係成為咗呢一個加州嘅州長啊！事不宜遲，我哋一齊睇下阿洛舒華新力家嘅成功故事啊！去片。I'm here to talk about success. The first rule of success is to have a vision. You see, if you don't have a vision of where you go, and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. I mean, as you know, I was born in 1947 in Austria after the Second World War, so I was very fortunate that I stumbled onto my vision. And I didn't really like Austria when I grew up. I couldn't wait to get out of there. I couldn't see myself becoming a farmer. Or a worker in a factory, or anything like that. Even though my parents wanted me to stay there and have a normal life, but that was their vision, not mine. My vision was totally different. I felt that I was born for something special, for something unique, for something big. Then one day I went to school. I remember I was 11 years old, and they showed a documentary about America. There they showed in this documentary the huge skyscrapers, the high rises, the huge bridges, the six-lane freeways, and all of this stuff. And I said to myself, "That's where I want to be. I don't want to be around here with these little farmhouses and these little buildings. I want to be in America." One day after school, I walked by a store in Graz, so I went inside and I looked around, and then I saw a magazine. It's a bodybuilding magazine that had Reg Park on the cover. Reg Park was then a three-time Mr. Universe, and I saw him on the big screen as Hercules. I read that and I said to myself, "Wow, this is the blueprint for my life. This is exactly what I want to do. I want to become a bodybuilding champion, just like Reg Park. I want to get into movies, just like Reg Park." And I want to make millions of dollars and be rich and famous, just like Reg Park. Do you know how great it felt that I knew where I was going? Imagine the majority of people don't know where they're going. I knew where I was going. That I'm going to become this bodybuilding champion, just like him. So it was just a question of how do you do it. I was so relieved because when you have a goal, when you have a vision, everything becomes easy. So people always ask me when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days. They say, "Why is it that you're working out so hard, five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face?" And they told people all the time. I said, "Because to me, I am shooting for gold. In front of me is the Mr. Universe title. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal. To make this goal." This vision turned into reality. Every single set that I do, every repetition, every weight that I lift, will get me a step closer to turn this goal into reality. So I couldn't wait to do another 500-pound squat. I couldn't wait to do another 500-pound bench press. I couldn't wait to do another 2,000 reps of sit-ups. I couldn't wait for the next exercise. At the age of 20, I went to London and I won the Mr. Universe contest. As the youngest Mr. Universe ever, and it was because I had a goal. So let me tell you something: visualizing your goal and going after it makes it fun. You got to have a purpose, no matter what you do in life. You got to have a purpose. So that's rule number one: have a vision. Rule number two is. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the naysayers.
everything I ever did, the thing that they heard out of people's mouth was, that's impossible. That can't be done. Or no. That is exactly what I heard. And of course, I proved to the people that it can't be done. So whenever someone said to me, it can't be done, I heard it can be done. When they said no, I heard yes. And when they said it's impossible, I heard it is possible. I'm a strong believer of what Nelson Mandela said, that everything is always impossible until someone does it. Well, I'm going to be the one that said to myself, I'm going to do it and I'm going to show it to them. Maybe it has never been done before. That's perfectly fine with me. But I'm going to do it. And I did not listen to the naysayers. It's all about the hard work that you put in. I said to myself, in bodybuilding, I worked out five, six hours a day. I'm going to do the same thing now for acting. And of course, I went to college to study English. I studied the accent removal, acting classes, and all of this stuff all day long. I worked and I worked and I worked. And within a short period of time, I made one movie called Hercules in New York, which of course went right into the toilet. But it didn't discourage me. I still had the same vision. And then all of a sudden I did Streets of San Francisco. I did Stay Hungry and Pumping Iron and The Villain. And then all of a sudden I was asked by Dino De Laurentiis and the Universal Studio to star in Conan the Barbarian. And after I did Conan the Barbarian, the director at the press conference said to the press, the director was John Milius. He said to the press, if we wouldn't have had Arnold, we would have had to build one. So think about that. The very body that they said can never be sold because the time is wrong. A few years later, I'm doing Conan the Barbarian and it was the number one hit at the box office when it came out in the summer of 82. Think about that. And the director says, if we wouldn't have had his body, we would have had to build one. So all of a sudden, my body became an asset, not a liability. And the same thing was with Terminator. After we were finished filming Terminator, Jim Cameron said to the press, if Arnold wouldn't have had that accent and talked like a machine, I think the movie wouldn't have worked. So think about that. The body and the accent that they attacked was an asset. But I didn't listen to those losers. I didn't listen to them at all. It's just the reality of it is, is that you cannot listen to the naysayers. So it's a very important lesson for all of you. So when someone says, no, this is a stupid idea, you in your mind, you don't have to say it, but in your mind, just say this of you, you asshole. What do you know?